For me, every morning Starbank, I'm walking the terminal, upstairs or downstairs. I am highly engaged and hands-on, um, making sure that the employees know we are there to support them. What do you think about this, this piece of it? Is this helpful? Communicate, communicate, communicate. Communication is really the key, and communicating on that human level. <laughs> That's correct. I think it's very important that we connect with people on a personal level. I think it's the key to getting uh, people to do things above and beyond their normal job description and maybe operate with more of a purpose as opposed to a description of their duties. I think when employees see that, I don't think they envision it anymore as somebody's watching over me. They are actually knowing that they're there for support. It's not about going and pointing things out. That's not what we do. Our job is to move metal. Our job is to move customers safely, reliably, on time, and the only way you can do that as a leader is to be out amongst the, the employees and assisting and helping. When I got here four years ago, there was a culture here at United. Um, it wasn't a great culture. You could walk down a hall and really nobody would talk to you. Um, not very people would stop and say hello. Uh, I noticed that there was a lot of good work going on here in Dulles. Uh, it wasn't a lot of work that was always recognized, so the employees didn't feel appreciated for whatever reason it was. Hey Nick, good morning, it's Colin here from Swissville. Everybody, I think from Rodney's team, we realized we had to have a plan. How do you overcome just a basic culture of being friendly and talking to people and getting feedback? We realized we had a goal and we had improvements, but how, what actions did we take? We found one big thing that we s severely needed to improve on, and that was our safety in the, in the hub. And we said, let's go after silver safety. Morning. Seatbelt check. A key factor in our improvement was really taking away the heavy hand and replacing it with the open hand of partnership. How you been, man? Good, man. I'm I, ain't, awesome. I ain't seen you in a long time. The message from the leadership is, is that we can do this, and we can do it safely and successfully. The way we got people to buy in here to Dulles, and that this was the right mission to take, was we tapped into their competitive spirit. So what we try to simply message is to be safe, and to be compliant, be consistent, and take care of one another. And they understand that we believe that. People began to believe in the momentum. People began to believe the message that was, that was uh, being delivered. I think we had a lot of naysayers when we started this process, and really we had to prove to them that we were going to be consistent. Everything all right? Good. We literally um, walk and talk safety. We walk and talk to the employees every day. You have to walk the talk, you have to be a mentor, you have to know that you've been in their shoes. There's no titles or differences, we're in this together, and, but you have to prove it. Some of our best improvements in this whole process were not by the suggestions of the leaders, were, they were from our frontline employees. Employees won't buy into this culture of safety unless they believe you. The one thing that we've done here that I'm very, very proud of is that we've turned a corner to where employees care about each other. They have now started protecting each other. They hold each other accountable. They care about each other. They stop an action that they see may become unsafe and they fix it. And they know they have the authority to do that. We're all in this together, one for all and all for one. We're here today to celebrate a Platinum Safety Award for the ramp. When Dulles embarked on our safety goal to receive the safety excellence program, the silver excellence, that was a huge undertaking for us. And then we said, you know what, we're not done. We're gonna go for platinum. We know we've built a foundation that we should be able to get platinum. And so we embarked on platinum and in four months, we're able to get platinum. The recognition that we are now acknowledged as the first airline hub in the industry to receive a platinum designation for all four work groups is just incredible. I think if we just continue to focus on safety and all the other things that really make United great, it will be just fine. 
I have grown as a leader over the years to where I want to manage the safety first and the operation second. Because I think if we get our safety processes right, the operation will come right along with it. We doing all right? Okay, thank you. We can't let off the gas. If we do, if we let off, if we relax at any moment, the employees might believe it was just in order to obtain an award or a rating, as opposed to what we really want to do, and that is establish a culture that continues on even when we're not here. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the trophy, it's about the fact that we now demonstrate a culture that we care about each other, we care about our equipment, we care about our airplanes, we don't want people to be hurt, that they can go home safely to their families every day. That's the trophy.